My name is Ethan Katchon. I'm a professional Muay Thai fighter fighting out of Wooden Man Muay Thai in San Francisco, California. When I was about 16 years old, I was a sophomore in high school. I stopped playing basketball. I had a little break in between and going into my junior year, I wanted to try out a new sport and I got into watching UFC. Fairtex had just opened up. I went over there, tried it out because I knew Muay Thai was a part of MMA, but I fell in love with Muay Thai and the rest was history. I really didn't know much about Muay Thai. I've seen clips here and there on YouTube, but that's about it. I was excited, you know, just excited to try something new and didn't know what I was getting into. So I think that made it more exciting when I, when I got into it. Yeah, I was actually in the kids class with my first trainer, Daniel, and uh, he was teasing me and didn't think I would stick around, but I stuck around and here I am now. I've been training for about 12 years. I think when I took a break after my mom had gotten sick, I took a complete break from Muay Thai to grow up and do some adult things and taking a break from it made me realize how much I love it and how much passion I have for it. That really opened my eyes to how much I, I care about the sport and how serious I wanted to take it. So my first competition was I'd say about six months after I started training and that was like a smoker slash PKB and man I was nervous but it was like a tournament style and the first match I was so nervous that I didn't know what I was doing but it, I ended up winning and then the second match I ended up fighting a guy bigger than me and he need me and I just remember losing losing the air and I felt like I was gonna cry and then I ended up losing and I was like man I don't want that to ever happen again so I'm gonna keep training and get better I think after a year of doing smokers my trainer put me in for an amateur fight and I made my amateur debut about a year after I did that first smoker and how many amateur fights did you do before you transitioned into pro 12 or 15 yeah 12 or 15 amateur fights I think the biggest adjustments that I had to make were my training and the style rather than fighting for points I think fighting with intention and control controlling fights rather than just going in there and Jong Sanan used to tell me just do whatever you want to do now having a game plan now having strategy in it it's kind of an eye-opener to me to know that I can be competing on this level and it kind of just assesses where I'm at right now because I know that in the future I want to be fighting on the international level. So I'll be fighting December 9th for Freedom in Heyman, Indiana. I'm fighting for the U.S. featherweight title and it's going to be good fighting a guy from the East Coast and I'm from the West Coast so at least we get to meet in the Midwest and it's neutral, neutral territory. Fight camp has been a mix of emotions. You can say great, you can say tiring, and you can say exhausting, but that means I'm doing it all right. So at the end of the day, my fight camp has been great because my trainers have been pushing me. I have not been taking any shortcuts and I'm making sure that I'm crossing my T's and dotting my I's for this fight. Halfway through my pro career, I quit my job and I focused on Muay Thai. Jong San gave me an opportunity, and Malia gave me an opportunity to work at the gym full time, where my training, or my schedule is focused around my training. So after I made that switch, my training has been harder, more intense, and a lot more time put into it so that I can get better outcome and longevity in my career. Man, so Malia and Jong San had talked to me after one of my fights in July. They sat me down and told me the whole situation. Like, I think you got, you should quit your job. I think you can take this as far as you can if you do that and that's holding you back. I actually was thinking about that before leading up to that. So it kind of just lined up, but I didn't take that opportunity right away. I told Malia and Jolson on that. Let's talk at the end of the year. Let me just save up some money. Let me just figure it out because I didn't know what I would be getting into. And after taking that jump, it was, uh, I would never look back and I think it's the best decision I made for my career in fighting. Man, I've been training with Jong Sanan since 2016, so about six years, right? I did the math right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, six years, we're going on six years now. I see the guy like a father, you know, and he's like family to me. We see each other every day and we're in the gym together 12 plus hours, so he's done a lot for me, you know, shaping me to be a better man and be a better person rather than 
just teaching me in Muay Thai, uh, he gives me a lot of life lessons. Even cooking, even managing, you know, how, how with my monies and stuff like that. So he's been, been very, very good to me and a big influence on my life, outside the gym and in the gym. I think giving me a future with uh, Muay Thai, you know, I didn't go to school. So the way he's taught me how to do business, how to manage myself, market myself, and put myself out there to make money, and that will go a long way. I enjoy it, you know, it's, uh, it's part of the challenge. I think uh, Jong Sun An has told me this, you know, when you go, go somewhere to fight, you're not just fighting your opponent, you're fighting the judges, you know, you're fighting the crowd. So you get a mental edge, and if you look at it that way, some people, some people don't like it, but I I feel comfortable. I think leading up to one of my last couple fights that I didn't do good in enemy territory, I was undefeated in hometown. So I'm pretty good in fighting people in their hometown, but we're not fighting the hometown. But I do enjoy traveling. I do enjoy traveling for fights. I get to go see different cities as well and I get the experience. A matured, developed version of myself that I haven't been able to show because I've held myself back. I feel like I've had a lot of time to grow, even though I, this is my fourth fight this year. Um, um, I had s some time to step back, reassess myself, and grow is the big thing. So maybe growth and maturity, you know. Uh, I'm ready to take myself to the next level and I'm ready to show it. And then at the end of the day, I have to show it. No one else is going to do it for me. My coaches, my team, they can be with me in the gym, train me, help me. But it's going to be me at the end of the day doing it because it's a one-man sport, one-man show. Yeah, you know, like I have small goals medium goals and big goals. A lot of the goals have been achieved and there's still goals that I'm chasing, but I always want to be better. Like for instance, one of the goals was turning pro. I did that. I was on the US national team two times and that was one of my first early goals, you know. I am 28 right now. So hopefully by then, the end of my career, world champion, fighting a one championship and my name on the, the world scene, you know. I want my name to be known and I want to put it out there. Man, Muay Thai has shaped my life. It's given me discipline, it's given me a career, it's changed my outlook on things, you know, because of the people I see every day in and out the gym, I see everyone different, different walks of life, whether they're in tech, whether they work in the fitness industry, whether they're just coming off the street. I see different people every day. It broadens my perspective on things. It, it's done a lot for me, to say the least. The list can go on, but I'd say Jong Sanan. And yeah, Muay Thai, but more of the personal level too. What he's done for me as a trainer and coach. Start younger. Yeah, I'd say start younger, but I started at 16, so that's an okay age here. And I know that uh, foreigners, the way we train, we can we can fight longer or train with Jong Sanan earlier, but that's about it. That's a hard one, man. And I can't give you a for sure answer. I can give you an answer off the top of my head because there's so many different things I love about Muay Thai, but I can say right now as I'm in the thick and end of my training camp, I love the challenge that, that comes to me, you know. Last week of fight camp is always the hardest because I get yelled at for the things that I know I can do that I'm forgetting to because I'm so tired. So I think the challenge that comes with Muay Thai because right now I'm getting stuck and I might be stuck now, but next weekend when it comes showtime, I'm about to put on the performance of my life. My name is Ethan Kiachon, fighting out of Wooden Man Muay Thai in San Francisco, California. I'll be fighting on Freedom 10, December 9th in Heyman, Indiana. You guys can tune in to FightClubLiveTV.com. You can also follow me on social media. That is Ethan with five E's. Cool.